for you, Peter, though, you were, you've had some battles about the role and what you thought. Oh, it... I have no say. I, I'm, I'm the green one here. I'm, right. just, I'm very grateful to have the job and I can make it work. <laughs> no, That's I, a but, very polite thing to no, say, no, but... I, I, I make, no, I, I find it... When I first arrived, I had a Bible this big on the character and I put it on the desk. I only had two episodes written. So it was, yeah. you know, and I just knew whatever they threw at me, I just said, well, I never said my character wouldn't do that because I realized well, we don't have an end here. We don't know what going. we're mm -hmm. going. So I just thought, well, the challenge is, what would she do if she had to do this? So I, I kind of allowed myself a lot of freedom in the, in the part. And sometimes things will come in and I go, what, what do they mean here? Mm -hmm. and if it doesn't make sense to me, it's not going to make sense to the audience. So I just don't say it. I just think it. And that makes more sense than saying something that doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? It's, but so have I, you I'm, been able to push it then and, and shape in any way? Um, sometimes, but unfortunately I'm not a writer. I was going to yeah. ask you, when did that happen for you? But uh, <laughs> I, um, what I tend to do is I, if it's not making sense in the dialogue, I'll change the dialogue a little bit, but I'll make sense in my objective or what I want. Yeah. And so it doesn't really matter what I'm saying because you're listening to my thoughts rather than actually what I'm saying in the yeah. dialogue. So I don't have that same yeah. power, all that experience, but uh, yeah. maybe next time.